Assalamu alaikum my lovely viewers. Uh, I hope you all are doing good. Today we I'm going to show you how to make this amazing, delicious, yummy, mouth-watering and the only shawarma recipe that you need to make and serve to your family, your friends and to yourself. This is so comforting and so delicious. So let's get started. First thing first, I took here 1 kg chicken breast that I have thinly sliced. Make sure that you thinly slice your chicken breast. Now here I have dried chilies that I have soaked in the warm water overnight and in this I am adding one and a half tablespoon of tomato paste. I am going to crush them or I am going to make a paste of it. You can do it in the grinder or in your planter as you like. Once the paste is done, I'm going to keep it aside. Now here I have two cups of yogurt. In this, I am adding baharat, paprika, red chili powder, turmeric, and salt. I'm giving you the recipe of baharat in the description box below. So in this, I have added here my tomato paste, the chili tomato paste, and olive oil. Give everything a good mix. This is the simplest and the easiest recipe, and this is just the perfect recipe to make the shawarma. Now here I am adding around 6 to 8 garlic cloves that I have chopped into small pieces or you can use the grated ones. Now I am adding here my chicken. Give everything a good mix and uh, let it co um, cover it and let it sit for about 4 hours at least. So the marination is done. So. Now on another side, I took here a pan and in this I put a pot that is almond safe and then I'm taking potato, covered it into the foil and the size of the potato is exactly that it can fit in my pot. I'm using skewer sticks. You can use one, two or three as you like in which you can nicely fit your chicken pieces. Now after four hours, I'm fitting my chicken pieces. I'm like skewer in the skewer sticks. I'm adding my chicken piece assembling them uh, you can do it in a zigzag motion like one horizontal one vertical then horizontal then vertical in that way so if you're new to my channel you are most welcome please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon please hit that bell icon so you get the notification of what's coming next let me tell you what's coming next in the next video i will be showing you how to make the amazing four different kind of sauces that goes perfect with your shawarma isn't it amazing? So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So now once you are done adding all your chicken pieces into it, it's going to look something like this. Isn't it look like exactly like the shawarma you get from outside? Okay, now put it in your oven, preheated oven high heat until uh, the chicken become crispy from outside it it might take like around 35 45 minutes so i would enjoy it with your family can you see how juicy it is the juicy tender yummy and just the perfect recipe i'm telling you it's the perfect recipe that you need to try do try it in this weekend and let me know how it tastes like so you can serve your shawarma with the tortilla or the beshe khubz shami. I'm going to use the khubz shami like the shami bread because it's easily available where I live. But if it's not available on your plate, you can just go ahead and get the tortilla. This is the garlic sauce and it's homemade. I'm going to show you in the next video. Garlic sauce, chili sauce and my chicken, some chips, pickles. Yes, pickles, because why not? Shawarma is incomplete without pickles. I'm using here ready-made canned pickles. They taste just amazing. And I couldn't wait to taste my shawarma. This tastes exactly like the one we bought from outside. And it tastes delicious. I'm telling you, it's delicious. Look, serve it to your family. Mashallah, tabarakallah. The perfect shawarma recipe. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be updated.